Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. VeggieTales Collector here, and today I'm doing my Vegetal VHS Collection Part 8. So first we have my first and only copy of a 2002 Warner Brothers reprint for Two Twin Penguins, and this is the copy of The Amazing Carnival of Complaining. A little torn up, but you know, my first copy, so I can't really complain. Here's the tape. Print date is... October 31st, 2002. Then we have a Word copy and a Warner Brother copy of Jonah Sing Along Songs and More. There's the tape. Can't make out a print date. And here's the tape for the Warner Brothers copy. Print date is July 3rd, 2002. Then we have a copy of Jonah. And this was the Austrian copy. The other, one's the, the other one is the Corning copy. And I cannot make out a print date for this one. But here's the cordon copy. And here's the tape with some wonderful pamphlets. Here we have an ad for SeaWorld, Chuck E. Cheeses, and look inside for great savings and promotions. Uh, vitamin water, anti ands and Band-Aids. Then we have one for uh, Mom Sense. And then there's Lyle. That's the free VHS tape you can get if you signed up. Alright, there's that. And now. We have a word entertainment copy of the Star of Christmas. There's a tape. I uh, can't make out a print date. And then we have two Warner Brother copies. One is a reprint, I believe it's from 2005, and the other one is from 2002. And this is the reprint one. Also, the tape off to that first. And it is recycled from December 12th, 2002. There we go. Print date is December 11th, 2002. And next we have a Corden copy and a Warner Brothers copy of Larry Boy and the Yodel Napper. Here's the print date, or here's the tape. Um, cannot make out a print date. Then here's the Warner Brothers copy. Here's the tape. Print date is, whoops. Uh, October 24th, 2002. Alright. And next we have Two Twin Penguins Episode 4. Runaway Pride at Light Station Kilowatt. Here's the tape. Cannot make out a print date. Next, we have Larry's Wonderful World of Autotainment, Warner Brother, and Word Entertainment copy.
Here is the tape. Cannot make out a print date. And then we have the Warner Brothers copy. Um, I think it's a blockbuster tape. Here's the tape. Uh, yep, blockbuster tape. So I cannot see the print date due to the sticker being there. All right, and then we have my childhood copy of episode five of Three Twin Penguins. Um, can't remember what it's called. The Doom Funnel Rescue. And I lost the case, so I've got to reprint or a uh, twin safe Christmas cover, you know, Warder Entertainment one, just to keep the tape safe because I've had it since the episode came out. Um, here is the uh coordinate copy of the Larry Boy Cartoon Adventures final and fourth episode, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, featuring the Dark Crow. And here's the tape. I cannot make out a print date. Now we're on to the Ballad of Little Joe. First off, we have the a shrink wrap copy, but it is used. Of the Battle of the Little Joe, Warner Brothers. Print date is July 3rd, 2003. And then we have um, a word copy of the Ballad of Little Joe. There's a tape. I cannot make out a print date. Now I have a sticker label one around here somewhere. This might be it. No. I think this one is. Pretty sure. Yep. Okay, here's my sticker label one. Alright, now we have an Easter Carol. We have a Warner Brothers copy. And... Word Entertainment copy and a screener tape that I got from David Nucky. So, big thanks to him for helping me get this tape. I'll show this one off first. This is my first screener tape. I'm super happy to get this. It has not been shown in an update video along with this tape, but I'm showing it in my VHS collection. Um, print date is January 19th, 2004. So, one of the newer screeners. And then off to the uh, Warner Brothers copy of an Easter Carol. Here is the tape. Print date is January 30th, 2004. And then my first uh, plastic case of a Word Entertainment copy of an Easter Carol in the white tape. I finally got it after quite a while of searching for it. So, with those out of the way, now we have a, what I think is a 2005 reprint. Like the Star of Christmas. Not quite sure if I'm right on that or not. But, here it is. And, uh, I know the Ultimate Unofficial VeggieTales channel, or, um, Finnegan Row, just found the Sony Wonder copy, so I haven't had a chance to personally congratulate him, but congratulations on finding that awesome, rare gem. And then we have a, I think this is the Blockbuster Warner Brothers Snoodles Tale, and an Award Entertainment Snoodles Tale. I believe it is. It is. I remember taking out the sticker. Um, here's the tape. Print date is April 16th, 2004. And then we have a Word Entertainment copy from Kyle. Or Kaylee, I should say. That's how that's said. Alright, and now we have Sumo of the Opera. Just like the figures you see over there.
and the little clip of Bob and my screwdriver set. <laughs> Here is the Word Entertainment copy. Here's the tape. I cannot make out a print date. Alright, and now, one of my personal favorite VHS tapes. Not that I have a favorite vegetable episode. I just really like this VHS tape. I have a Sony Wonder copy of the Holiday Double Feature. And a Word copy of the Holiday Double Feature. And here's the tape, and it has not been watched. And here's the tape for this, and it has also not been watched. There's only one copy that I got that has been watched, and that's my Sony Wonder copy that you see right there. All the other ones that I've got haven't been watched. Alright, and now we're on to... Honestly, I, I cherish this tape so much. My childhood copy of Duke and the Great Pie War. I've had this since the episode came out. I remember going to the Family Christian store and getting it. I had the choice to get the DVD or this, and I picked the VHS tape. Quite a wise choice, actually, because this is my only copy. A little tore up, little loved, but, you know, I, I absolutely love this tape. It's a little damaged. Not in the best condition, but I, I still love it. It's... I love this thing. I'll always have it, and I cherish it so much. Oh, let me show my other Sony Wonder copy. That one came from uh, Joe Davis Eggie, but it's got a sticker on the back. I want to make sure you guys can read the pullback. But, um, here's the other one that I've got. And I cannot make out a print date. And we're just about done. If you're watching this all the way through, I can't thank you enough. It means a lot to me. Now, we have, I have a caseless Sony Wonder copy of Minnesota Cuke and the Search for Sam's Hairbrush. If you know of anyone who has a cover, please let me know. Because when I bought the lot that it came with, it showed it with the pic, with the cover, and I got it, and it didn't come with the cover. I messaged the seller, and I never got anything, any response back. But here is my better condition, word entertainment copy of Minnesota Cuke and the Search for Samson's Hairbrush. And now we have my only Lord of the Beans copy of, well, yeah, my only Sony Wonder copy of Lord of the Beans, and quite frankly, my only copy. I'm still looking for the Word Entertainment copy. I will eventually find it one day and get it. Not that it's super, super hard to find, but current date is September 23rd, 2005. Then we have one of the more rare tapes to get, and one of these did come from David Nucky, so once again, big thanks to him for helping me get a Sony Wonder copy of this, even though I've got another one. Here's my Red Entertainment copy. My first one, I believe. Cannot make out a print date. And then here is the Sony Wonder copy. Print date is January 31st, 2006. And now that wraps up part 8. Here is a little quick overview of it. One more part, which is the seal tapes, and then it'll be part 10 for the overview. Hope you guys are excited for that. It's quite big and long. I'm not going to lie, I already pre-recorded it, so it is ready to go. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Goodbye!